Okay guys, so I'm back outside just after the strike event. It's now like 9 o'clock or something, so it's a bit brighter outside. Uh, it's still raining, but um, what can we do? What can we do? <laughs> I live in Vancouver, so the rain is... It, it, it's part of life. So anyways, I'm at this Diplodocus here. Uh, as you guys know, we have the Diplodocus as the uh, weekly uh, dinos for at least today and tomorrow. So it's the Plotocus, Brachiosaurus, and Aranosaurus, and as I said before, I probably would suggest Aranosaurus over the other two. Um, the order probably would be Aranosaurus, Brachiosaurus, then the Plotocus, although the Plotocus, the problem with Plotocus is it's a new dino, no one has it, and this is why I'm here. Uh, let's try to dart this. Hopefully it's not too hard. It could be Notepadosaurus or Brachy animation, both of which are really hard. And it's raining, so that's going to be even harder, so we'll shut up and dart it. Ooh, uh, that long distance. No way. Oh my god. No way I did that well. Th 231 on a sauropod. Epic sauropod. That must be like a record or something. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No way. I have to check if I actually recorded that. That was crazy. Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to create this thing right now. So, create. Wow. Oh, this thing looks trippy. The uh, the colors on its spine are. That's really something, eh? All right. Let's uh, let's check out its. Ooh. Be like a bellowish animation, except it doesn't have bellow. It has opening strike, decelerating rampage, shield advantage, and swap and slow. So 103 speed, really bad, <laughs> obviously. But it has a decel rampage and swap and slow, so it's, it doesn't hurt too much. Also high health. Let's try AR. I don't usually do this, but it's a new dino, and it's ooh, that's a bit, that's its tiny sauropod. Ooh, <laughs> it's flying around. Uh, it's so hard to work around this AR. All right, let's have it out here. Okay, that's the first pose. We already saw that one. Let's do something else. Hopefully, no car comes around and crashes into it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Oh, also, um, I saw my mirror guy not created. So let's go ahead and create this. A lot of people have been complaining that I don't create uh, my dinos. Okay, okay, I'll create this one. Mira Gaia. This one's the one with shield advantage, right? Yeah, it's full counter, shielding strike. Not shield advantage, shielding strike and regeneration. Uh, it's not horrible, but it's not too great either. Uh, speed's okay, actually. Health's okay, damage is mad, but it has counter, so it's not horrible. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go back home and let's uh, test out this uh, Diplodocus in battle so you guys don't have to uh, test them out yourselves. and you know, waste an attempt on it, and um, although I do not re recommend it, we could, you know, just do some battles with it and see how it does. If you guys really think it's worth it, then for sure go for it, and if you are a collector, then 100% for sure go for it, but do remember that uh, the tournament rewards do dip, do give Diplodocus, so after the tournament, you will get about a decent amount of uh, Diplodocus, so even if you skip this one, you shouldn't be too worried. You could take a Rhinosaurus as well. Diplodocus... Uh, you, you get it for free, so you could you could wait on that. But uh, anyways, let's do some battles first. Hey guys, so I'm uh, back home. Obviously, I just came back from darting the Diplodocus, that magical 230 something uh, DNA amount on a Diplodocus. That's amazing, and it was raining outside as well. Uh, yeah. But luckily for me, uh, it, most of the targets were on the back, so it might not be the case for all of you guys. But at least for me, it was on the back, so it was good. But anyways, I got my brother here. If I had noticed. Um, say hi, maybe? No. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, do a friendly battle trap with Diplodocus. He doesn't have a lot of really nice dinos. He has like an Indominus Rex and that's probably it. <laughs> but other than that, uh, it, I, I, I'm using a decently fair team. I'd say I don't have any legendaries either. I'm also trying out the Mirror Gaia. Um, although I, I'm fully aware that it's probably gonna get destroyed. But <laughs> uh, let's see how it does. You know what a Diplodocus is, right? Yeah, that... 
super annoying dino in Ark that always pushes you in the ocean and get killed by piranhas. Okay, yeah, that is uh, th that certainly is an Ark experience. At least that happens to me all the time. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. Uh, one time I was raiding and like a Diplodocus pushed me into like the enemy's base and like their turrets all killed me. So that was, uh, <laughs> that, that one's fun. But uh, anyways. Um, no looking at each other's uh, phones, because yep. that's, that's, that's gonna be weird, but, uh, let's try, let's try this. Okay, send you a challenge. If you can see it. Yeah. Don't, don't lose your mind. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Right, hopefully I, I actually draw the Plotticus. Because <laughs> I kind of need to draw it to, you know, showcase it, I guess. Okay. I'm not gonna tell him if I drew it or not. But, uh. Who knows? No, soon enough. I'll start with this. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't happen like the case. Oh, this is this is actually an interesting matchup. Since I am actually faster in this matchup, I, I don't know. Hmm, I think the correct move for them is to use, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave, leave the wound for a spectator. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, Spirit Strike still works, so you could lethal next turn, but then you, you know, you're missing one turn of bleed. Wait, but, wait, Superior Strike doesn't get off. He, he's, he's back in 1.3, um, <laughs> he still thinks Superior Strike cleanses bleed, which, um, for information, it doesn't anymore, I should have told you before, he hasn't yeah. played in a while. Um, back in the day, Spirit Strike cleanses, oh. like, bleed, cleanses slow, cleanses, uh, a vulnerability, that's another one. Now it only comes with distract, a distraction, so that is a problem. But uh, he, he could probably just throw out something faster and take out my Spine Mess, Source Gen 2, which it's only 122 speed. It, I, I'm, I don't know what he pulled, but hopefully he drew something that's faster than 122 speed, or else they're going to take... Okay, so he's going to take another hit, hit here. Although, I'm, you know, since the lethal wound nerf, which, by the way, it's just now cooldown... Uh, cooldown turn to 2 instead of 1, so I can't really use it again. So it's not too big a deal for them. So, I don't know, I don't know what I should, I, I should use here. And, um, my game isn't reacting. Okay, it's good now. I'll try this. You gotta leave the, uh, save the big one for last, right? If you guys know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. What do I mean? Any clue? Well, obviously. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe Diplodocus. Maybe something else, right? It could be a... Uh... Brachiosaurus? Who knows? <laughs> oh, I'm getting destroyed here. Maybe Sigma Lock wasn't a good idea. Oh yeah, they had Greater Sun Rampage up. I totally forgot about that. But here I could into charge that would... Well, not cleanse my slow, but you know, it's only one turn of slow, so I should regain my priority after this, if I do stun, yes, and I did. So, uh, thankfully that happened, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll just be out of here. Although, you know what? I did pick my move, and um, in hindsight, I probably should have stayed in went for another shielding strike, because that would have taken it out. And if they didn't have anything faster than Spinal Gen 2, then they probably don't have anything faster than, than Stigma Lock. And yeah, oops. Oh well. So 103 speed to Plotticus. Wow, it looks really, it looks huge. 104 Rogersaurus. So that is a problem with uh, the Plotticus, unfortunately. Let's try this. Okay. Long protection. Okay, that's a thing. Oh, the crit. It's what, 20% crit, right? Yeah. Celerate and Rampage. This is a move exclusive to, I think, only two diamonds in the game. One is the Plotticus, the other is uh, a Margosaurus. So, you know, that's new. But check out this move, check out this move. Shield advantage, deal one times damage, bypassing armor, gain 50% shield for one turn, destroy opponent's shield. And I just told you my move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see, but yeah, you're gonna get it. Okay. So this is pretty fun, I just took out his shield while uh, putting up a shield of my own. I guess there are some outplay potential, but I think you, I, I can't remember, I'll have to watch the recording, I think. I think what it does is uh, it throws out the one times damage first before the shield. Why didn't you swap? <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's that's the, 
the Podicus, I guess. I, it only went against Rogersaurus. We'll, we'll try another match. Um, and if I don't draw the Podicus again, I'll, we'll probably cut till, until I draw it. But hopefully I do. So uh, let's see if I do get it or not here. Okay. We might or might not cut this. <laughs> I, I still don't want him to know what I have. <laughs> Alright, I'll open this thing. Oh, this this isn't good for me. So it does have immunity and my uh steady seraphops, obviously it relies on slowing and stunning, which all don't work on post metrodon. So that's very unfortunate. And also got a new move, regeneration. That that regenerates half its its HP, so I need to deal at least like half of its HP with an impact for my move to actually have an impact on it. Which it doesn't, so it could just regenerate half of its HP back. <laughs> but uh, you know. I I'm I'm pretty much screwed. I actually like this new uh buff. I I call it a buff. They took away what, adrenaline pulse? So it doesn't have that extra 25% damage buff, but I, I take this, the regeneration over that. Um, it does help its survivability a lot. I don't even know why I went for a greater stunning strike. It makes no sense at all, but you know, I'm dead anyway, so it didn't really matter. All right, let's try out this thing. Oh, look, it's the same combo again, if you guys know what I mean. I think he probably knows now. <laughs> no, not really. Oh wait, no, stun. No, not really. Oh no, you're not gonna get stunned. You have immunity. <laughs> Yeah, but but you both of them have stun and combo. I, I do not. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever that meant. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, I get this stun, or else this will be really bad. But I do have that little thing in the back. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. You guys, you guys see my team. He doesn't. Hey, I don't see your team either. I was actually surprised you actually brought blue in the first place. And I'm out. And swap into the swap and slow. Now I'm faster than blue. Isn't that interesting, eh? And blue is goodbye here. Blue's dead. And one one other thing about uh, the Podicus, or I mean, shield advantage, uh, advantage I guess, is uh, it, it sort of, it deters your opponents from using the shield, so they're probably not going to use the shield, uh, uh, unless you're my brother and you haven't played in, in a few months, but, uh, yeah, um, I mean, well, the, the long protection here make, does make sense, since you are probably going to take a rampage here, um, although there is a chance of also taking the shield advantage, but it does, it does have half the um, uh, rampage damage still. Let's see if it's one times damage or is it still half. Oh no, it's one times damage. So you break the shield first. So you put up a shield, then break the shield, then do the damage. So that's very beneficial for uh, the Plotticus side. All right. Okay, Plotticus is now probably dead because you know, one of three speed. And you know, he does have a blue in the back. Yeah, blue. All right, do I have anything to deal with blue actually? I probably do, I probably do. Short defense. Not, I probably do. I, I know I do. He doesn't though. You don't. You, you don't know, right? No, no. Poor guy. <laughs> uh, you know what? This might not actually be all that great for me. Let's see. Ooh. This might be really close. This might be really really close. Um. So. I think I'm good. You know what? Let's try this. Ah, oh, I swapped. I was thinking, you know, I could go regeneration and they'll hit me and then I'll counter it and then they'll, that should take it out. But uh, they swapped, so uh, good for you. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, when we're talking about Viragaya, this style really isn't that great. Um, I know it is a common. Um, it's, it does, it does, seem like it has a really good moveset, you know, regeneration plus shielding strike, but it's 3000 HP. 3000 HP is on the lower end of the spectrum. 
so it really doesn't have too much going for it. 3000 HP is bad, it's speed is okay-ish, the damage isn't that great, it does have counter, but you know, it doesn't have too much damaging moves to up that, uh, or you know, to help that at all. A Shielding Strike is a good basic attack, I would say, and hopefully if they do nerf Fido Renix, they'd give it Shielding Strike, but uh, overall, Mirror Gaia, not that great. Diplodocus, situational, very, very situational. Um, in general, I would probably still use Brachiosaurus over Diplodocus, uh, just for the uh, extra armor. It does have, I think, a bit less HP than a Diplodocus, but uh, it does more damage. You know, the uh, the, ra uh, the Rampage in Security Strike, you could gain advantage, and, you know, Speed of Magic, that also uh, gives you uh, damage, and also you cleanse Distraction, which is something that Diplodocus can't do. That also ups your uh, overall damage output, which Diplodocus has a problem with. Diplodocus does have Pinning Strike, which is, again, it just comes to show you how situational Diplodocus is in comparison to Brachiosaurus, where Brachiosaurus can do a lot of things. I would probably still use Brachiosaurus over Diplodocus, but if you do find it useful in uh, any sense in the place you are at, uh, for sure you could use it. I wouldn't recommend it. And as for the weekly dinos, I still would uh, put Aranosaurus as the highest priority of recommendations over uh, Brac or Diplodocus. Do you know why you should get Aranosaurus? Okay, he doesn't know it has a hybrid yet, so uh, it has a hybrid. <laughs> but uh, anyways, that's it for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and also thanks to my brother for getting up and actually doing this. Uh, he doesn't play a lot, but he, he's, he's getting back to it, it, it a bit. So yeah, um, if you do enjoy that video, please leave a like. Um, subscribe if you're new. I know I just said that, but um, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's YouTube talk. But I'll see you guys in the next video.